shortages are coming. Why are they coming and what's causing them? We'll have all your answers in tonight's special food shortages report. These people are absolute morons. They believe everything I say just because I say it. The winner of the 2020 presidential election, Joe Biden, announced that along with record-setting inflation, a destroyed border, an impending war with Russia, the Afghanistan disaster, and his Nuremberg Code violating pharmaceutical agenda, food shortages are the next phase of his Build Back Better plan. Take a look. With regard to food shortage, yes, we did re re so talk about food shortages. Well, that definitely was in English. Let's hear more. And, uh, and it's going to be real. It's going to be real. You heard it here, folks. Food shortages are coming your way. But why are there going to be food shortages? Well, always a stellar example of self-responsibility, Biden is blaming Russia for our upcoming food shortages. Once again, Hunter's dad is telling Americans it's Russia's fault, as it is with rising gas prices, inflation, and his dementia. That is 100% all there is to know about the upcoming food shortages that you get to look forward to. <laughs> That's it. We swear. However, some dissidents who are unwilling to submit to our kaleidoscoping narrative believe the food shortages are being planned and deliberately caused in order to control people. But that is absolutely crazy talk. Those views should be immediately silenced because they're really quite dangerous and completely unfounded. How insane. You could deliberately create food shortages in the US. Like to do that, you'd have to destroy a bunch of food processing plants and nothing like that could ever happen. These nut jobs. This just in. In just the past few weeks, over a dozen food processing plants in the US have been destroyed through fires, explosions, and planes crashing into them. Huh. As we rework our narrative, here's Tucker Carlson with a ton of misinformation. Just moments before we went to air tonight, a plane apparently crashed at a General Mills plant, a food plant in Covington, Georgia. Six tractor trailers were reportedly on fire. You're seeing pictures from the scene right now. This is the second time in a week that something like this has happened. On April 14th, the plane crashed into the Gem State Processing in East Idaho. What's going on here? Well, the story gets weirder. Food processing plants all over the country seem to be catching fire. A couple of days ago, a fire destroyed the headquarters of Azure Standard, one of the largest organic food distributors in the country. At the end of last month, a fire severely damaged a fresh onion packing facility in South Texas. In Oregon, a potato chip processing plant to support a boiler explosion that sent workers to the hospital. Now, what are the odds of that? Well, it turns out the odds are 100% because it happened. But it's not what you think as the most suspicious president in US history warns of upcoming food shortages and then multiple food processing plants are destroyed, this certainly isn't happening intentionally. It turns out the food facilities catching on fire, exploding, and having planes crash into them is being caused by climate change. How's that for a rewritten narrative? Next up, as food shortages are definitely not, not, not being deliberately caused, and we swear, this is just a coincidence, completely unrelated. We're happy to report that a narrative of an avian flu pandemic is causing millions of chickens and turkeys to be killed. What does that do to the food supply? It makes it much worse. Oh, well, that's interesting. An avian flu pandemic. That sounds just as scary as the one we've been trying to scare you to death over for the past two years. But this one is definitely severe, and they can tell, because they're detecting the avian flu using PCR tests. In spite of what the inventor of the PCR test says, you, as an obedient believer of our narrative, know how accurate they are at diagnosing viruses. Now, with a full explanation of what's going on with food processing plants being destroyed all over the place and millions of poultry being killed due to a global chicken pandemic, here's your emperor. And we both talked about how we could increase and disseminate more rapidly food, food shortages. Whoops, kind of sounded like he said, Increase more rapidly food shortages when he said, increase more rapidly food shortages. Probably just a typo. I don't think it was a typo. It wasn't written. He said it out loud. Let me ask you a question. Do you care about your wife and children? Yeah. Of course you do. So just remind yourself of that next time you're tempted to open your mouth. As we prepare for food shortages in the US that Russia is doing to us, to be fair, 
There have been starvation periods throughout history inflicted on people by those who are trying to establish themselves as dictators. In 1921 and 1922, Vladimir Lenin's Famine starved 5 million people to death. From 1930 to 1932, Stalin's famine starved between 5.7 and 8.7 million people to death. From 1958 to 1962, Mao's famine killed about 45 million people. Amongst other evidence that shows these famines were deliberately caused by the dictators, the whole time Mao was actually exporting grains for profit instead of feeding them to his people. But that's how droughts and famines work. It's also weird how food shortages and communism just coincidentally go hand in hand. Now that is insanely evil. But a dictator destroying independent food production so they can monopolize all aspects of the food supply so they can have complete control over the population? That could never happen here. This just in! Saying that could never happen here is the exact mindset of denialism that keeps the door open for things like that happening here. Whatever that means. But truly, that kind of thing could never happen here. Because the state, and the authoritarians who run the state, don't own the food supply. Bill Gates does. He owns more farmland than anyone else in the US. Why? Bill probably just wants to be a farmer for a while because he's trying to control people through computer programs, tracking, and forced injections. And recently, Elon Musk said of America's favorite farmer, in case you need to lose a boner fast. Ha ha ha. Well, it worked, Elon. I haven't had one since I looked at that picture. Kinda looks like Bill needs to go on a bit of a famine himself for a while, doesn't it? But if you're so paranoid that you still think the very altruistic authoritarian state dictators are intentionally sabotaging the food supply in order to have complete control over the population, then just take matters into your own hands, buy some real estate, and grow your own food. Except you can't, because BlackRock is buying up all the real estate at prices far above market value, and the Fed is funding BlackRock. But that's probably nothing. That's it for tonight's special report. Enjoy the food shortages. Bon appetit.